everyone, my name is Katie Carson. I am the Duchess of Suds here at Royalty Soaps. If you're new around here, welcome for the very first time. And if you are a returning member of the Royal Court, golly, I'm glad to have you back, especially for a soap that I've probably made before. Is that video that I made still available on the channel? Maybe it's not. Maybe this is like the first time you actually ever get to see it. Warm vanilla sugar. I get a lot of requests for duplication fragrance oils. Now duplication fragrance oils are just what they sound like. They are duplications of some bigger company's fragrance. I get a lot of requests for Lush dupes, a lot of requests for Bath and Body Works dupes, and even some for like fancy perfume oils like Aqualina types and also V la juicy, you know, that kind of a thing. I don't typically love doing dupe fragrances just because I like to create my own. I like to be original and unique, but sometimes a company comes out with a dupe scent that's really, really good and worth making a soap out of. And that's what warm vanilla sugar is. I get a lot of requests for this one. It is Bath and Body Works. It's one that they've kept throughout like all the years. I've seen so many fragrance oils with Bath and Body Works that as you go along, they just kind of drop off. They don't produce them anymore. But warm vanilla sugar has been around since I was like little bitty. I remember my grandma having it in the foam pump form in her bathroom when I was like five. So that's like 20 years ago. It's been around forever. So why not put it in a soap? Am I right? So without further ado, let's put it in a cold process soap. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is mix our lye water solution into our oils. And I cannot tell you how many questions I have gotten about this JB on the side of the piping. This is our sizing system. So really quickly, I'll tell you what it means. The size that I am making right now, which is two loaves, we call a jack here at Royalty Soaps. So what I'm making here is a jack base. So J B. If I were making four loaves, which is the biggest size soap we make, that is like the largest batch size. It makes 64 bars. So still relatively small batch. Well, we call those kings. So if we were doing a king, it would say KB for king base, but we're not. We're doing a two loaf batch, which is the ones that I typically do for videos because it fits into the frame really well. So that's what this means on the side. If this had a P next to it, that would be um, the lye water solution for piping. So JP is jack piping, JB is jack base, KP is king piping, and KB is king base. So there you go. That's just our own little system that we just made up, and that's what it means. It does not stand for just. Justin Bieber. So I'm going to pour the lye water solution down the stick blender and I've gotten some questions about the stick blenders and I'm starting to not like Cuisinart as much. It used to be like the very, very best, but I think they have dropped on their quality a little bit. So I might be using a new stick blender in the future and I will keep you guys posted on what I find as far as quality goes. We're going to mix this up until just past emulsion. <laughs> Okay, it's all fixed up now. I've tried to say words like four times. So we're gonna have a top and the bottom. Let me go ahead and show you guys my design, the new updated improved warm vanilla sugar. So on the bottom, we have swirls of gold and white, and actually that's sort of a yellow color. And then on the top, we have swirls of a very dark brown and white. So in these two cups, we'll have the two accent colors, and in these two bowls, we'll have the whites. To achieve the look I want, we actually don't need that much accent color. So for the white, I'm using titanium dioxide, and I'm measuring it with my little tablespoon measure here, just to make sure that everybody gets the same amount, and that both halves are equal. And then for my accent colors, I have dark brown oxide from TKB Trading mixed with some some oil, so I'll add that to this guy right here. And for the yellow, I have yellow oxide. This is from Mad Micah's. I rarely use yellow oxide, but I know it's going to be perfect for this particular soap because it's what I originally used years ago. That was before I knew about Micah's or like any awesome Micah companies existed. <laughs> it was like oxides or nothing. I'm going to remove these top 
two colors. And we're gonna work solely with the bottom ones. And as you can probably guess, we're gonna be using a duplication fragrance oil, meaning it smells like the one from Bath and Body Works, but they can't say that. Warm vanilla and sugar from Nature's Garden. Now this fragrance oil does discolor slightly, so it's not gonna be a very stark white. It's gonna be sort of a, well, just sort of a creamy off-white color. So let's blend these up. All right, so now that everything has been mixed up, I'm gonna pour from up high this golden color into the white. The white is thickening up a little bit. I'm working a little warmer today than normal, probably around 100 degrees Fahrenheit, so that these layers set up quickly and I don't have to wait around for them. I'm also gonna take my spatula and give it a quick swirl. I almost never do this, but for today, again, I'm trying to um, pull a soap design out of the vault and mine was pretty darn swirly the first time I made it. So let's pour into our two brambleberry molds. Brambleberry molds are here, so I'm just gonna start plip plopping it into these two liners. It's gonna look so good. And let me tell you guys, the fragrance, amazing. It smells amazing. And the white is setting up quicker than the yellow per usual, so it's gonna keep all of the colors nice and separate, but still giving us a good swirl. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna scrapey scrapey my little containy. If you like to scrapey scrapey things as well, I've got scrapey scrapey merch. And now I'm gonna tap these down on the ground to get them relatively level. If they're not 100%, I don't care. In fact, one might say a little texture is actually gonna look really nice. So, I'm gonna set these off to the side. We're gonna mix up the second layer. I've gone ahead and added the proper amount of fragrance oil into this batch, and no, I don't clean my stick blender out in between each layer. It's really not necessary. This teeny bit of color, you won't even see it. Now pouring from up very high, we're gonna take the brown, dump it into the white, make sure it gets to the very bottom, scrapey out this little cup container here, give it a quick mix around, and now we will pour this into the molds. Now I probably don't need to use a spatula to break the fall, but I like to be extra careful, so I'm going to do it anyway. And the reason why I added brown in a warm vanilla sugar is because this fragrance oil does discolor. Fragrance oil has some vanilla content in it, duh. <laughs> And so instead of trying to work against it all the time, I'm trying to work with it. I also added it in because it's in the original design. I'm not trying to completely get rid of the original design, I'm just trying to modernize it. And now I will tap these down on the ground. This is looking positively scrumptious, so I'm gonna set these two loaves off to the side and we're gonna mix up the soap frosting. And I lost all of the frosting footage. I am so sorry, guys. I did take to Twitter and ask y'all if you still wanted to see this video because I was really tempted to scrap it because like the frosting is my favorite part but like 50 people were like no upload it anyway so you have those 50 people to thank for even having a video today let's jump right into the close-up shall we here's the little close-up I'll try to get as close to those sugar cubes you can definitely see that one in the middle there all the texture and the ridges on there so it is like a real sugar cube I'm obsessed I'm obsessed I'm so happy we decided to remake this one and the smell is super super strong so we're gonna wait 18 to 24 hours and then we will come back and we will chop all these up into bars after this quick commercial break. We are back the next day to cut the warm vanilla sugar soap. I'm loving the top, but you guys, look at the side. Look at that swirly goodness. You can also see the vanilla starting to take a little bit of effect there. It might not get too much worse than what you're seeing now, which is all those little specks of brown, which honestly totally add to the design. So I'm gonna line this soap up with my multi-bar cutter Evangeline. And also let me tell you, that's a great fragrance oil to work with, soap makers. As far as sticking and staying true to the original 
original. It smells amazing. All right, just gonna pull one out from the middle here. And this is what it looks like on the inside. What do you guys think? A little upgrade from the original? <laughs> maybe, maybe just a little. At least it doesn't have all the glycerin rivers in it, right? Okay, loving the split marble. That's gonna be the question of the day. Should I do more split marble soaps and should I do some without the soap frosting on top? Like just make it look like this. You have to let me know by clicking the eye in the upper right Right hand corner of the screen and then of course look at the top you got the gold powder you got the two sugar cubes the little white soap ball you got the drizzle of the caramel and the chocolate woo wee really really decadent that would probably be the one word I could choose to describe it if one word I was allowed. These soaps will be available to purchase at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, March 4th at royaltysoaps.com. Ah, ah, what do we think? Come on, we've got to do some more of the multi-layer marbling stuff. It is too good. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more like it, did you even understand what I just said? I was just like <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, comma and would like to see more like it wait does a comma even go there i don't even know what i'm doing if you enjoyed this video please subscribe there <laughs> just just take care of it that way and be sure you do something fun for yourself today whether that is tripping off to bath and body works to smell some truly nostalgic fragrances or cruising around on the internet to see if there are small businesses who use duplication fragrances in their products of things you can't get anymore. I happen to know that there are a lot of things like Lush's Flying Fox. A lot of people have told me they like that. You can get that fragrance online and it smells exactly the same as it did when it was like in Lush. I'm not even joking, go look. Either way, do something that makes you happy and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Meow.